this is my dad and my mom. I thought I wanted to show them a new uh, magic trick that, uh, that I invented and my wife actually helped me with the ending of it. So this is the first time that we, uh, we uh, have created a trick together. So firstly, what I'd like you to do is name any number you like from uh, one to 10, anything that you like. Pick your favorite one. And this way you can, uh, it's a free, free will kind of thing, free choice. Okay. Name one out, name a number out, one to 10. Seven. Seven, all right. Free choice, yeah? You want to change your mind? No. Okay. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seventh card. Now, you could have picked anything, but you stuck. You picked seven. This is going to be your card. I want you to take that. I, I want you to have a look at it, okay? And then I want you to show mom after you've looked, okay? Have you done that? Are you finished? And show the camera. Yep. Yeah. And show the camera. You done? Yes. Okay. I want you to just hang on to it. Okay. Now you still got. Um, I want you just to think about your card, but don't say anything out loud. Look at the end of my nose here. You're thinking of a. It's a red card. Um. That's right. It's a heart. It's a. Well, it could be high or low. It's an ace of hearts. How did you do that? So free choice, you could have stopped anywhere, and you stopped on the Ace of Hearts. Is that right? Flip it over. So that's right. Now, now, this is not entirely surprising because I'm a magician. I'm supposed to figure out what card you're thinking of. The surprising thing is that you could have stopped anywhere else, and they're actually all blank. The entire deck of cards. What in the world? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> That is great. That is a good trick. Thank you. You like it? The ending is my yeah, favorite. It makes me nervous because that looks like real magic. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I like magic because it's surprising. And so obviously, you know, thinking of one card, I was able to think of it, and then showing you the whole deck is blank. That's surprising. But sometimes life can be surprising too. And that's why this is our surprise. What in the world? <gasps> Are you oh, serious? No. Uh -uh. Yes. Uh -uh. Yes. Uh -uh. Yes. 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 So just after this video was filmed, we found out that my dad did not have long left to live. The doctors were saying weeks, maybe months, and we really wanted him to be able to figure out the sex of the baby and we didn't think he was going to make it. So really as early as possible, we had a, a sound or a, an ultrasound tech come to the house. Uh, he had a portable unit. He was a friend of mine. So he brought his portable unit over, which was so cool of him to do. And my dad was there. My wife was there, of course. And so we, uh, we did the ultrasound right there at the house and um, found out we were gonna have a third girl, which we were super excited about. And um, I think my dad was really pulling for a boy, um, but you know, we've already got two girls. My brother has two girls. We don't have any boys in the family. And so, but uh, yeah, we had our, we had a third girl come in. So we were pretty excited. We were able to tell him what name we were thinking and all. And then um, a couple weeks later, uh, he actually was still alive, and so we, my wife went in for the official ultrasound, and I was headed out of town somewhere for a show, I think, and she called me and um, said, it's, um, it's not a girl. I said, what? What are you talking about? We saw it, and she's like, yeah, it was a little too early to be for sure. Uh, it's a boy. I was like, are you kidding me? So I was so excited, and... I called my dad and said, so yeah, it's uh, it's a boy. And he did the same thing like you just saw in this video. He goes, nah, nah, he was so excited. So it was pretty cool. We were able to at least tell him the sex of the baby. And um, we were really grateful to the Lord for allowing him to live that long to be able to, um, to at least know that it was gonna be a boy, which was, which was pretty awesome. Uh, but then, um, then something happened we really did not expect. Take a look.
So what I have here is a nice little box that's completely empty. But with a little bit of magic and a little help from Tanya, I'd like to introduce you to the newest member of the Adams family. This is Liam Adams. His full name is William Lee. We named him for my granddad, my dad, and myself. My first name is William, if you didn't know. And that's the guy right there. He's got a lot of cute faces he's making. And uh, this, he's just one week old today. And uh, this was his first magic illusion to help with. So we're happy to have him as part of our family. So. There he is. There's William Lee Adams. Mm -hmm. Alright, you want to hold him? Yeah, come here, buddy. There you go. Hey, Willie. Ah, hey, Willie. Hey, Willie. Ah. No. Hey, Willie. <laughs> Calling him Liam. William. <laughs> William. 